YouTube, I am back with another reaction video. And we got why Dennis Rodman hates Larry Bird. <laughs> you know, we back with another one of these videos, man. You know, I had my little take on that. But I uh, found this one. This came out a couple days ago. It's new, but I don't, let's see what uh, this is hitting for you. Because I can always tell y'all, you know, I just go right, like, and just record. So, we'll see what this video is hitting for. But this is one of the Dennis Rodman videos I told y'all I was going to do. So, finally getting to it. Let's get it straight into it, y'all. From saying Kodak wouldn't make it to the NBA if he played today, to pointing out how he was only given the MVP awards because he was white. Here's why Dennis Rodman has beef with Larry Bird. The drama between them has been making headlines since the 80s, and Rodman ain't backing down from taking shots at Bird even now. He popped up on an interview and was talking to Gilbert Arenas recently. Now, Arenas knew that Rodman would lose his cool if Larry was brought up, and that's exactly what he did. He said he believed that Larry could probably beat LeBron James in a one-on-one -on -one match easily, and Rodman was left staring at his face and said he couldn't disagree more. According to the man, if Larry Bird played basketball today, he'd be halfway across the world chilling in Europe. If Larry Bird played in this era, I think he'd be in Europe. Yeah, you heard that right, Rodman straight up said. There was no way Bird's game was cut out for the modern NBA. He said that his skills were perfect for the Boston Celtics back in the 80s. You know, I, like I said, don't you say he'd be somewhere over there. <laughs> but as you know, I think his game was fit for Boston at that time in the 80s and stuff like that, you know, but. But in today's crazy basketball world with all the speed and athleticism, he didn't think Bird would stand a chance. He said he wasn't trying to diss the guy and admitted that Bird was a beast back in the day. I mean, no one can forget those epic battles between Rodman's Detroit Pistons and Bird's Celtics. Man, those games were intense. The tension and competition between the two teams were off the charts, so you can bet that Rodman still holds some strong feelings toward Bird. But hey, at the end of the day... <laughs> of course, and that's exactly why he says what he says about Bird. Of course, he, because he holds, still holds some feelings, because he was getting his ass whooped. You know, but like, come on, man. Hey, this is just some classic NBA banter, you know? Rodman and Bird are keeping the rivalry alive with their playful jabs and trash talk. And it all started back in 87 when the Celtics took down the Pistons in the playoffs. Back then, Dennis Rodman had some interesting words to say about Larry Bird, and he didn't hold back, saying Bird was overrated because he was a white dude. But later he cooled down and realized he'd gone too far. He apologized and said he was just talking smack back then. I apologize that many, many times over, but uh, that's history. Yeah, but, um, yeah, but um, hey, you know, gotta move on. And admitted he was frustrated because Bird and the Celtics had whooped his ass. No, I told you, I just, I just said, I said, I was green. I, I was just saying anything, man, just because, you know what? I was frustrated because guess what? I got my ass whooped. He even clarified and said that his comments weren't out of hatred or anger. He wasn't even paying attention to the whole league, just his own team. Dennis also said he was just trying to figure out what made Bird so great, but he admits, looking back, he would have probably said the same thing if Bird was black. But Larry just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and managed to be on the receiving end of his frustration. The player has apologized for those words many times since then, and my man's had a change of heart. The good news is he didn't stop there, since he went on to show some love to Nikola, the big man from the Denver Nuggets, and said he believes the Joker is a better player than Bird. I think I think the kid from uh, Denver is way better him. Jokic. Oh my God. He thinks the Joker's game is on another level, even though he's not the fastest dude out there. According to Rodman, if you compare the Joker and Bird in this day and age, he's convinced people would choose the Joker. That's a bold statement right there. But let's not forget, Bird's been out of the game for over three decades now, and he's still known as one of the fiercest competitors in the league. He's an icon for the Celtics and one of the greatest to ever grace the sport. So Rodman's perspective seems a bit biased overall, but I gotta say, there was no rivalry like the one between Larry Bird's Boston Celtics and the badass Detroit. Time out real quick, let me go back. Was this his finger, right? That's his finger. Damn, he getting tore up, man. Look at that finger. Look at that finger, y'all. Look at that finger. Rivalry like the one between Larry Bird's Boston Celtics and the badass Detroit Pistons led by Isaiah Thomas. 
These teams brought the heat both on and off the court. And let me tell you, it was intense. Whenever these squads clashed, fans would expect some crazy basketball, fights, and dirty plays, especially when it came to the playoffs. Between 1985 and 1991, they faced off five times in the playoffs. The Celtics managed to advance in 85 and 87, but then the Pistons took over, winning three consecutive series from 1988 onwards. They even went on to make three straight appearances in the finals, bagging two championships along the way. This rivalry was legendary, and the Pistons and their rough play really got under Bird's skin. He despised Liam Beer and the rest of the team because of their dirty style of ball, and the Pistons weren't too fond of Bird either. Things got real heated during the Eastern Conference Finals in 1987. In Game 3, after a hard foul, Bird completely lost his mind and started throwing fists at Lane Beer and Rodman. It turned into an all-out brawl, with both teams going at it like there was no tomorrow. But man, those were the days. The Celtics versus the Pistons was a battle for the ages. It was more than just basketball, it was personal. They pushed each other to the limits, and you could feel the intensity between Rodman and Bird every time they stepped on that court. Lately, Rodman hasn't been holding back. The guy was never afraid of sharing his opinions, no matter how controversial they were. And let me tell you, his recent comments about Larry Bird got NBA fans fired up. Some straight up flamed the guy and said he was just trying to stay relevant after all these years. And there were others who called him out, saying he was plain wrong for saying the Joker was better. One fan tweeted out that Bird would actually do pretty damn well in today's NBA. The skills he brought to the table, shooting, passing, and his phenomenal defending were still highly valuable in the modern era. Just look at Nikola the Joker tearing it up for the Denver Nuggets. He has those same attributes and that's why he's a beast on the court. So at the end of the day, there'll always be haters debating about how the legends of the past will perform today. Players like Bird, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Jordan, Bill Russell, and the list goes on. It's all a matter of opinion, and there's no right or wrong answer. But it does surprise me that Rodman, of all people, would say Bird wouldn't be capable of playing in the league. I mean, come on, Bird is a Hall of Famer and one of the greatest to ever lace up those sneakers. And if Rodman was looking to stir up some controversy, he definitely succeeded. Christopher Michael Russo, the podcast host, completely dunked on the dude. He said that Rodman better watch out himself because he used to be a unique player but was never really that great, and his biggest problem was that he never scored. Some fans said that Russo took it too far, and Rodman was the heart and soul of the Detroit Pistons. I mean, yeah, the man was a defensive maestro and a rebounding beast, but that doesn't mean he can diss whoever he wants. And it's not the first time he's targeted Bird. Years later, and he's at it again, taking shots at Bird. You'd think at this point in his life, he'd be showing some respect and giving props to his old rival, who's a true legend in the game. Look, I get it, times have changed and the NBA has evolved. LeBron and the Joker are tearing it up in a whole different era. Each era has its own unique style and challenges, you know? It's like apples and oranges, man. So maybe Rodman should just acknowledge that and give credit where it's due. Even Isaiah Thomas jumped in and had Rodman's back at that time. He said that Larry Bird was a very, very good basketball player, but he'd have to agree with Rodman. If Larry Bird was black, he'd be just another good guy. Those are some serious shots fired. But let's be real. Rodman started all this mess by calling Bird overrated and suggesting that he only won those MVPs because he was white. Fans said that was just uncalled for but props to Rodman for owning up and apologizing for his racist comments. He knew he messed up and tried to make things right before the Boston Celtics versus LA Lakers series. Some say Rodman's kept the beef up because a white boy schooled him on the court. Maybe there's some truth to that, who knows? But it's time to let go of the past, enjoy the greatness of all these players and respect the legacy they've left behind. So from pointing out how he was only given the MVP awards because he was white to saying Kodak wouldn't make it to the NBA if he played today, here was why Dennis Rodman has beef with Larry Bird. Bird talked a lot. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Dennis Rodman is sorry, he's just a loser, man. Because he, see, at least, well, one thing I can point out and say that he did admit to it that, you know, Bird was whipping his ass. So that definitely sums up a lot. <laughs> it's just so funny to me how, like, come on, man. People know when somebody's good. They just don't want to admit to it, you know? It's crazy to me, man. But that was a cool, good video. <laughs> That was a cool, good video, man. But, man, Dennis Rodman needs to stop hating. 
that was a little bit more better than I think some of the other clips I didn't had in the video I did with the, you know, Dennis Rodman take on Larry Bird. Because I couldn't, I just trying to do the V-Lab before. I think I did with this little clip, but I didn't see it on some of the rest of that stuff. But that was a good video right there, man. Even though he said Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> Nothing narrated myself. <laughs> Anyway, man, I'm on to the next video, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell, man. I'm uploading every single day. And I deeply appreciate all of them support. And, uh, yeah, you got some videos you want me to do, leave them down in the comments. Or you can send it to my email at definitelyboy9 at gmail.com. And I'm out of here, man. That was just crazy, 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 crazy. Oh, man, that's crazy. But anyway, man, we definitely got some more videos dropping. But I'm out for now, man. I deeply, deeply appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.